Hello guys, Mickey Jibber here, and today it is Jojo's birthday, so happy birthday to Jojo. And as you can see, we have his birthday banner 2023, and just like we did for Ali's birthday, we are going to have a look how good the birthday skills are, and of course talk about if it's worth to put something on, and also do one rotation on this banner. So, short about the banner itself, it is a step up banner where you have step 1, 50% off, step 2, regular price with a cost of 2,400 account gems, and set three, a guaranteed random uh, Juju skill record. And you have a 2% drop rate on the birthday skills, so that is really nice. And uh, before I talk about the banner, um, just gonna let you know that we have confirmed that the four uh, skills from the other banner, uh, the Blossom Blue Rose, I think it's called, they those four are in this banner, so. Yeah, this ba birthday banner is more worth to summon on instead of the expensive one, the 5 step one, don't summon on it, summon on Juju, more worth it, and you get more skills. But yeah, um, so the total cost of this banner is 6,250 account gems, so that is a decent amount, which is like what, one month of saving? So yeah, so we're gonna have a look, how see how good the birthday skills are, and then do a one rotation on it, but yeah. So, the duration of this banner is 9 days, just like at all the other birthday banners, they're also 9 days. And the first skill we have is the Fragrant Rose Juju, Power Rise and Wind Boost Ice Flower. Really nice art, really nice art, I really like, like this one. Blue Rose, really nice, good job Bandai, I like it. Well, let's have a look at the, this Power Rise. So, it gives flat 800 attack, it gives... 40% wind and equipping two more juju, you will get 20% attack. I would say really, really good uh, power rise focus on wind. Um, the interesting part is that it is a wind power rise. We thought that it will be a water since juju has a lot of water skills, you know. Uh, one dark skill, maybe for axe. Maybe this one is for axe, but who knows. Um, but really good one, not uh, not that bad. Uh, but if you are trying to, uh, if you get this one, that means you have to use somewhat uh, wind skill to able to do deal some damage. Otherwise, you're losing fifty percent element damage, which is kind of bad. But hopefully, you have some wind skill to be able to use it, and you need two juju skills. So one more juju in your set, and you're good to go. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Maybe if this one is for axe. Who knows. Next we have Freezing Night Juju, is a sword skill, savage wind noise, 28 SP slash wind. Alright, so this one is the awakening one. Further enhanced 60% damage, 3 hit, single hit. And own defense increased by 3 stacks, 1% per stack for 15 seconds. And the awakening skill, you get 10 stack when you're using your rush. Alright, um, I guess we're gonna see a lot of defense stack. Um, I'll say we have what we have 28 SP to use, so that is a little bit too high. Maybe it's good for uh, on the your connect sword if you're going for the stacking phase, which can be really good, but then you lose the rush. I mean, it depends how you uh, can build this. Uh, this is a decent one, I'll say. Stacking is kind of hard, but if you know how to stack really fast under like 30. Between 10 to 30 seconds to the max, then this one is can be really good. Otherwise, it can be alright in uh, other scenarios. But yeah, not, not a bad one. So we have a lot of good skills in this. Uh, he doesn't have that many mod sword, right? He has one fire mod sword. Uh, we, he got his first power rise, which is the birthday one. Um, yeah, um... I don't think it's worth to summon on if you don't have any Juju skill or, the, or if you need some of the skills. But yeah, um, so let's start with the one rotation. Um, when we're doing it, we'll also talk about the banner. Uh, free to play, um, if you have, don't have any power rise, then this might can be good if you have some wind skill. Otherwise, not really worth it. So new players... Um, I would say new players shouldn't summon on Juju and should focus on the Alice. Alice has more mods ward, more um, power rise, and some decent skill as well. Juju is more uh, for like what? A specific build, I would say. Specific build, yeah. 
for axe and sword mostly that is the only I has um, he has maze but that is a limited one and um, does it have more it doesn't have bow it doesn't have spear it doesn't have dagger it doesn't have... he has rapier as well if you want to fall for the and the appeal full events uh, skills if you want that but I would say Juju is mostly a specific build if you're trying to build around something that you need something uh, but if you like Juju to like to take the skills then it's worth to summon otherwise you should at least more worth to summon on than Juju so yeah um, conclusion Juju is uh, skip mostly for new players and stuff mostly those that, that have um, trying to build some specific build and need some video skill then this one is worth full otherwise uh, the power rise is really good the sword awakening is also decent i would say but yeah otherwise not bad at least more work she has Ooh. awakening oh we did not get it ah i want to see the animation but yeah well so, skip Yu-Gi-Oh and summon on the Alice. More worth, trust me. If you're a new player, use to Alice. It's more worth it. And you can build something. And uh, the only thing Alice Banner doesn't have is the a passive, really, really strong passive, which is uh, Pin and Nick, I think it's called or something. And that is uh, called After Learning 5, that gives a lot of stats. Uh, since it doesn't have on the banner, but you can at least get other skills. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Uh, this one is what is it? The, another defense stack I remember. Yeah, another defense stack. All right, and you can see it is a slash water. I wonder why that made it, uh, slash wind. If they just made it slash, uh, water, it might be even better to do more summoning. And build around it with the night of uh with this one as well we connect uh, skills and stuff and maybe they will release a water juju mod sword who knows who knows that will be also amazing all right so let's see step two uh juju does have any maze so that's uh so what yes axe and sword right and passive uh Rapier he has also, so we have four. And the rest dagger maze um, maze is he yeah, does have a maze with that is a really old one, a limited one, persona five. Uh, then we have spear and bow. None of them, right? So yeah. And shield, yeah. So basically we can mostly you skip the things we don't need to watch. Uh yeah, I think that also was you just first power wise fight. A win one so i don't know if they made i think that if they made the power rise and the awakening sword just water instead of wind it, i think it will get more attention for the banner and it work pretty well but i guess we have to build around wind synergy i would say and we're getting shaft oh sword no all right all right doesn't look good, huh? Um, let's see what more to have. We have Leafa, but she is mostly win. I wonder. Wait, maybe she can have a different one. Leafa usually a bit, uh, usually have a wind element. I wonder why UJ is wind. Maybe Leafa gonna be water. Who knows? So Leafa's birthday is on 19 April, right? If I remember. So 18 for us in NA and EU, and uh, for Japan is 19. We'll see. Uh, so next week we will be might see a Leafa birthday banner uh, data mine. So let's have a look. Um, who do we have next? Who's, do we have more in April? I do know that Yuki is on May, like 31st May. For it, but my who has happened? Elizabeth? 
No? This vessel in is. Uh, wait, when does this have June? Yeah, we'll see. Um, there's a lot of birthday coming down. That means you haven't saved a lot of Arcan gems or even skip if you want to. Uh, but we do get um, Arcan gems like 250 from their birthday, so that's nice. Good. And um, yeah, I don't know why we aren't yet anything. Nah, we don't get anything, huh? Well, last time, I mean, Ali's birthday banner was the same. We got a dupe, so let's hope we don't get a dupe on this one. Um, I take anything. Um, mod fire, if it's alright. No, it's a passive. No, not even alright, alright. Dire. Um, let's see, how many skills does you have? 40? 30? 40? 30? 40? I believe. Between there, Alice has 50 plus. And it's an axe skill. Oh, wait, it's not awakening. Oh, no. Uh, New Year, Juju. Um, he's. Uh, Decent one. Yeah, it's a decent. Mostly we use it for weapon XP farming. Um, it's alright. Well, uh, let's hope it's not a dupe here. Yeah, alright. We got two new skills. Uh, I guess it was worth it. Well, um, that's for me. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my summoning or one rotation on the YouTube birthday banner. So, skip Jojo, if not looking for his skills, uh, at least more better, uh, better skills there. For the no new players, Jojo is more worth it, trust me. Well, that's me. Thank you guys for watching. And if you are summoning on Jojo's birthday banner, I wish you then good luck. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.